This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this very simple layered sphere icon using Inkscape and this is similar to another tutorial I did a while back but this one is a little different it's a little more simplified and it's uh, quite easier to create it requires a little less time so let me minimize this and we'll get started here in Inkscape. And if you want to make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons like I have here on my screen, I'll have a link to that information in the description. So the first thing I'm going to do in Inkscape is make sure that the view is set to custom. And I'm going to zoom in at 100%, zoom one to one. And then I'm going to open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button right there. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a wireframe sphere. And we could do that by going to Extensions, um, render and down here wireframe sphere and let's go ahead and click uh, live preview so we can see what that looks like and for the input the lines of latitude we want 6 lines of longitude 14 well this doesn't really matter but I just have it at 14 you can leave yours whatever it's set at tilt 25 degrees rotation 120 degrees and radius at 100 pixels and make sure you have hide lines behind the sphere checked make sure you have that box checked and once you have these parameters set, you can just go ahead and click apply and then close out. And there we have our sphere. So let me zoom in on this a little bit so I could see a little better. I'm just going to press plus on the keyboard a few times. And what I'm going to do now is these, this is actually a group of strokes of Bezier, like, like a Bezier strokes grouped together. So I'm going to ungroup this. I'll click the button that says ungroup selected objects. And I'm going to have to click it again because it seems to be grouped twice. So let me click it again. And now you see we have ungrouped a bunch of different lines here. Let me click off of it to deselect everything. And you'll see all these separate lines here like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the lines of uh, longitude, I believe it is. It's these vertical lines right here. You can just click on it and press delete to get rid of them. Like that. And then there's this other line down here that doesn't look like it belongs there. I'm going to get rid of that as well. Just press delete. And once it looks like this, we can click and drag over all of this. And we can convert this from a stroke to a path by going to path, stroke to path. And then we're going to unify it all together by going to path, union. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the opacity and bring this down about in half. And then I'm going to go to path, break apart. And it's going to break it up into all these little individual pieces. And we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. What I want to do now is I want to grab the giant, I mean, the the uh, the big circle that's in the background here. If you notice, this is all separate pieces. I want to grab this one right here. So let me put those back. I'm going to zoom in on this by pressing plus on the keyboard a few times just so I can see it. I want to grab this big circle back here in the background. And I want to turn that red. And then I want to raise that to the top with this button right here that says raise selection to the top. And then I'll press 1 on the keyboard to zoom out. And I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag this off to the left for now. We're just going to put that aside for now. We're going to come back to that shortly. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on this little ellipse here up top and just delete that. Press delete on the keyboard. And then I'm going to leave the next shape where it is. And then I'll go to the next one. Click on that. Press delete. Get rid of that. And then we'll get rid of this one down here. Press delete. Get rid of that. And so we have these three shapes right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over those three shapes. And I'm going to unify them all together by going to Path, Union. And I'll bring the opacity all the way up. And I'm going to make this a shade of yellow. I'm going to go with this shade down here, the FFCC00. There it is right there. And then I'm going to right click that and go to Duplicate. And uh, I'm going to come over to the Fill tab, and under the HSL tab, I'm going to take the H row and slide that to the left a little bit just to make that more orange-reddish color, maybe like that. And what I'll do is I'll flip this vertically by going to the button that says Flip Selected Objects Vertically. And then I'll send that to the bottom by clicking this button that says Lower Selection to the bottom. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom back in over this thing by pressing plus on the keyboard a few times. Uh, I'm going to come up here to the top of the graphic and I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and grab this orange piece and just click and drag this up until the edges are topping the, the, the edges are touching the top of the yellow edge right here. I'm going to zoom in on this a little more by pressing plus a little more. And if you want to move the page around like I'm doing, there should be little scroll bars here on the side, but what I, what I like to do is just press down on the mouse wheel and move the mouse. So uh, let me hold control and just move this up a little more. Let me see if I could zoom in any further. Yeah. And not too much. 
just like that. That's pretty good. And I'll press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And you can see we pretty much have the shape here. We have the icon pretty much done, but I, I added a little bit of a touch to it. I, I'm going to add like a little bit of a, a sheen right here. And then right here, I'll put a little bit of a shadow behind it. And to do that, I'm going to click on these yellow shapes right here and then right click that and go to duplicate. And I'll take the H row and slide that to the right just a little bit so that becomes like a brighter yellow. Then I'll take this circle, I'll right click that and go to duplicate, hold control, click and drag this off to the right until it's about maybe right about there. And then hold shift in the keyboard and click on the yellow shapes and go to path difference. And you notice we now have that it almost looks like there's a little bit of a reflection of light, but it's more of like a flat style. So uh, let's do the same thing with the orange shape. Now let's click on the orange shapes, right click that, go to duplicate. I'll come over to the H row, slide this one to the left a little bit to make that more red. Then I'll take this red shape, raise that to the top with that button over there. Hold control, click and drag this over here. And then hold shift and click on the red shapes and go to path difference. And we could lower that one step so it goes beneath. We'll have to lower that twice actually. One, two, and there we go. Now it's beneath. Now it's beneath the yellow shapes right there. And we can click and drag over this whole thing and group it together. And uh, what we can do now is we can click on it another time to get our rotation handles and just hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this around two steps like that. And there we have it. There we have our very simple layered sphere graphic like you see here in the thumbnail. So uh, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.